and welcome back to my channel. I literally cannot remember the last time I did one of these talking to the camera type videos. I suppose I'm always kind of more now out and about vlogging with the family. If we go anywhere, if I if we go on a staycation, anywhere in Dubai, if we go on any holidays. So yeah, it's kind of weird to kind of be talking back to the camera like this. It's a bit like whoa. So I said I'd come on today because I have a new little purchase that I want to show, but I wasn't sure, oh, are people doing these unboxing videos anymore? Are they still a thing? Are people sick of them? Are they, I don't know. I was kind of thinking, do I do it on IGTV? But I just thought with the whole IGTV thing, I think, I think it's trying to take over and take a bit away from YouTube. But as someone mentioned um, on a podcast actually that I just recently listened to, don't put all your eggs into one basket. So that kind of that got me thinking, you know what? I'm just gonna keep on doing my YouTube and even if I don't have many subscribers, which I don't, um, or whatever. It's just content that I like to look back on, especially the vlogs and the trips when it comes to um, with the kids and with the family and yeah, so I kind of said, okay, I'll just keep on going with it. Do a bit of YouTube whenever I can. It's not that very often. And uh, yeah, let's see. It's all content at the end of the day. If someone was to wants to buy what I bought and they're kind of trying to get ideas and maybe when they see it on YouTube, mm, I actually do like that because that's what I did when I was doing my research about this bag. You know what? If it's there, they can go on and have a look and why not? So let's uh, start and um, get into it. Right, so as you can tell, it's a Louis Vuitton. This is my first, I suppose, Louis Vuitton purchase. And I really thought hard about this. I really thought, do I want it? Is it an investment? Is it something I can hand down to my daughter? I, I always think about these like kind of excuses. I come up with these excuses, I, I like to call them. And I just thought, okay, did a bit of research. Um, saw some good, some negatives and some positives, of course. And I just thought, you know what? It's a classic. It's probably not gonna date very soon. And we'll just go with it. We'll worry about everything else afterwards. So I'm just gonna take it out. You probably guessed by now what it is. You choose, is it a bag? Comes in, obviously really nice packaging. The Louis Vuitton, just there, the nice orange color. And I'm gonna take it out. It is, probably guessed, a bag. So I'm just gonna take it out of this. Of course, the lovely bag in a bag. So basically it is the, I'm gonna just take this off here. The Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. So, now a couple of things about this. Yes, I think it's a bag that's been around for a while now. I think when it came out first, there was a bit of a stage where like everyone was buying it. It was the bag to have. Then uh, there was a lot of people saying, oh, the leather, watch the leather because it gets scuffed really easily and it gets damaged really easily and you know it looks like you know the wear and tear can show up a bit more in it so I did all that research and I you know and then there was a lot of other kind of um people that said you know it's not like that you know maybe they've improved it now since it's been a couple of years I think since this has been out so there is another version there's loads of versions of this now there's the plain one uh, the black the black kind of like um leather look and then I think there's different colors and also there's the classic all brown monogram which you can see here but the reason I got this one was because this is the reverse and the reverse pochette matisse is extremely difficult to, to get now living in Dubai funny enough <laughs> the Louis Vuitton store in particular in Dubai mall is one of the busiest if in the Middle East, 
maybe one of the busiest in the world, I'm not sure, but they get a lot of shipments in because they're that busy. And because it was Ramadan, the store and the mall in general was a, bit, a little bit quieter. And I went in one day just to inquire, just to see, you know, just to see if I actually really like it. And there was one that was on hold for someone, I gave her a ring and she couldn't make it um, over to Dubai to pick it up. So they rang me um, a couple of hours that day and said, listen, it's here. Do you want it? We'll hold it for you for 24 hours. And that's what they do there. They're really, really good. So if you're in Dubai, um, pop if, and if you really want to get one of these, I would say go into the store, either in Dubai Mall, preferably, or else Mall of the Emirates, and just say to them, look, I'm really interested. They can order it in. And when they order it, they don't know when they're gonna receive the shipment. They sh it could be that week, it could be that month, it could be that day, not, they don't know. So they let you know and they give you a ring and you 24 hours to come in and get it. So you kind of need to be sure. But basically, when I found out that the Pochette Matisse was, or the reverse Pochette Matisse was even harder to get, I was like, I want it more. I, I literally, I was like, because it's harder to get, I want it more now. So in that, for that reason alone, I really like the sound of it. And also, um, actually a friend on Instagram told me this, this uh, the, the reverse are harder to copy. You have all the fakes of this, of course you do. If you go to China, Thailand, even here in Dubai, you're gonna get so many fakes of this, but this one is harder to copy apparently. So who knows? So uh, let's have a quick look. It has the nice gold little clasp that you just kind of like squeeze in and it opens. I set up the paper on it there as you can see. And is that, yeah. And um, once you open it, you have of course a strap, which is really handy and it, it's a great crossbody also. And what's great about this, and a couple of people have said this and mentioned to me is the room inside, it's so roomy, like, there's like three deep kind of pockets that you can actually put everything in and it holds so much. And actually the material in the inside is that microfiber material. So say if something like, I don't know, God, like God forbid a perfume spilled or something spilled inside. I mean, it's microfiber, so it's gonna soak it up and not, da not stain or damage, you know? So really, really handy. So that's the inside of it. And of course then, um, Another reason, before I talk about this part that you clip onto it for the crossbody, another reason that I kind of was more drawn towards this one was the fact, and a few people have said this to me too, this, this has an actual black leather handle. Now, the plain one with the, um, the all over classic monogram, monogram style has an actual, I think it's like a cow's leather, like a, a beigey cream color cow's leather uh, handle. And that is very sensitive to, to things like if you've moisturized your hands or kind of creams or any, you know, or even if it gets wet, it's very sensitive and it can stain. Now, for that bag also, the longer you have it, the, um, the more, the, the actual cow's leather, uh, the more kind of, I suppose, the more, I suppose, the more distinguished it becomes, but it stains very easily. So the black leather strap is just a lot more practical just for grabbing. Now, I mean, those little uh, Louis Vuitton scarves, uh, I think they're called twillies. Can't wait to get one of those. I'm all over the twillies already. I'm like, I've had my, I have my eye on a couple of them. Uh, or maybe, okay, maybe just one. And just dying to even just dress, dress up the bag a bit, um, which um, I love to do. And uh, yeah, and it kind of adds something to the bag too. But by having this leather, black leather handle, it just makes the, the bag, you know, appear more cleaner looking, I suppose. So that was another big selling point for me for this, actual version of the bag and of course here the little detail this is like a black leather kind of a um i suppose like a little detail too over the gold hardware so then the actual straps just clip on just like this and you have oh sorry you have your crossbody i was going to say but they're along with having loads of room inside you have your really nice kind of a zip pocket in here so you can kind of put like um Kind of more flasher items really handy and yeah and that's it and that's it as a crossbody and i mean i can just see 
myself like getting so much wear out of this especially in ireland like with nice coats i've seen even on pinterest and when i was doing all my research and on instagram uh, like girls wearing really nice like camel color coats but this is a crossbody and i'm like cannot wait to wear it for winter but yeah i mean just lovely with a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt just perfect such a classic style a classic look and i just think it'll go with everything from floral dresses to as i said camel coats white t-shirts and jeans to um even a power suit it's just one of those really versatile bags and um just a really practical one too at that so really really happy with it um dying to style it up with a couple of i suppose um outfits now and um yeah and start using it and wearing it and also it's really handy if you're even like a new mom i mean crossbody bags are so essential for just like that whole i suppose hands-free kind of a thing so yeah just really really handy and of course i love it actually just to hold the the little handle like that and nearly like a little going out bag for nighttime so yeah as i said really happy with it uh we'll see how it all goes <laughs> and um yeah definitely happy with this uh, latest little purchase so hopefully you found this helpful if you are kind of thinking of this bag and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and I will 